So let's just say that since January, late January, whenever that was, I kind of sort of fell into a wax seal rabbit hole. And that's been occupying a lot of my time, my spare time. We all have our hobbies. We love our pens. We love our inks. And right now I'm loving some wax seal action. And it's just one of those things. You just find this, this way to create something interesting and playing with wax apparently has has my attention lately so but i know it's been a while since i've done a review and i wanted to come back and show you a pen that might be one of the most interesting pens i've come across in a long time and the pen i'm talking about is from jan zander design and i'm talking about the cocoon yeah so before I get into this pen in the background, I want to tell you a little bit about Jan Zander. Jan Zander, he's had a pretty extensive career in fountain pen design. In fact, you might recognize some of his designs from Mont Blanc. Yes, he, he worked for Mont Blanc for many years and had created a lot of designs. He was head of the design department, uh, I am correct in that statement. You can actually look him up. I, I actually met him when I was co-hosting the Apple Boom uh, podcast, the Apple Boom Bites, and he was a guest. And I just found him to be so interesting, but it was when we were on that podcast and he started showing some of his pens because I was like, wow, his designs were very simplistic clean line so the one pen that was shown on the podcast it's on it's on youtube as well so you go check it out it's a lot of fun right now um yost has uh, annabelle as the co-host and she's she's wonderful she is wonderful she has a great sense of humor and the chemistry between yost and annabelle is great back to the pen i want to talk about the jan zander design cocoon so the cocoon was featured on the podcast. And I thought that this pen was so cool and amazing. And you're like, but it looks like a pen case. Well, here is the interesting twist about this pen is that the idea for this pen came from pen case design. And I guess Jan was sitting around designing as he does. And he was like, you know, what would be really cool. And of course this would be in German because he's German. In German, he would be saying this to himself, you know what would be really cool is if there was a pen that was also the case, right? And everybody, you know, so he, you know, he announces this, this uh, idea to whoever he collaborates with, maybe it's just himself, you know? And they're all like, yeah, okay, dude, uh, whatever he built it and you have the cocoon this is actually the outside of the pen this is the pen okay so you see there's the jan zander embossed logo right here and uh, i mean the pen it's meticulously done this is leather this is vegetable tan leather in red of course it also comes in brown and black but i like red obviously obviously Red is such a beautiful color. It's vivid, it's a beautiful color. So you pull off the cap. Yes, that was the cap. And inside there's actually a, a piece in here to prevent the pen from drying out. So you pull off the cap and here is the pen. So you have the seam, which is right here. And the seam has also been treated so the leather won't fray or anything like that. And so the seam, I'm gonna put this back on for a second. The seam also acts as a roll stop. So if you don't have, you know, it cap, you have it lay on your desk, it's not gonna roll off your desk because it has this seam right there that's gonna prevent that from happening. It's also on the cap itself too. So I think it's very unique. It's a very unique design. And so right, what the nib that it has on there, that is a broad Bach nib, gold plated. 
This pen also does come with 14 karat gold. It comes with any nib size you want, really. Um, you just have to specify. But the 14 karat gold nib, if you go that route, it does cost more. So you have to ask yourself, do you want a gold nib or do you want a steel nib? And to be honest with you, this, this pen's already inked. I've been using it since I got it. And um, it's a very smooth writer. It writes very nice. Let's um, take off the section. So the section is metal. And I haven't found any issues because if you notice, the section is actually has a matte texture on it. So my fingers do not slide around on it, which I think is very thoughtful. So you take this off and here is your converter. Right now I have uh, Jack J. Urban or Urban uh, Cacao de Brazil, which is kind of a brownish grayish color, but I think it looks fabulous with red. Uh, it's a great compliment to it. So I have this filled up. And the one thing that I love about this, and I've noticed this, like, and I even tried to like um, test this theory, but every time you put the nib back in or screw the section back in, the nib lines up with that seam every time, every time. I think that's wonderful. This is obviously on purpose. Let me, I'll, just to prove my point, let's do it again. Let's do this again. Because that attention to detail is very, very cool. Okay, sorry, I get very passionate about that. Hold on, let me calm down for a second. Okay. Watch, I'm going to even do it from upside down. Okay, here we go. Every time. <laughs> I just think that is so cool. I mean, that is a big deal to me. These attention because man, I hate you get those pens. And like, I just like stuff to line up. Okay. But when you put stuff to back together, like it doesn't line up, you know, and it's like, but like especially the pens that have a cap that screw on to the back of the barrel and you put it back on you try it different ways and that damn clip doesn't line up with the nib and it's just like why why couldn't you do that every time this nib lines up with that seam i'm just calming let me i'm just calming down for a second i just now you might be asking yourself does the seam bother you when you're writing? Not at all. Not at all. It's very comfortable. So as you can see, your fingers rest right here on the grip section. So the seam is actually doesn't even come close to hitting your fingers. It's non-intrusive completely. And it's wonderful. So I just, I love it. And the leather is so soft. So I'm like touching it right now. It is so soft. So does the pen post yes it does and it's great so check this out it posts and it's so comfortable it's light and it feels good and the leather feels good and the section feels good everything about this pen feels great and i i mean that's what this is why i came back to do a video I've been kind of burned out. I'm not gonna lie. I've been a little lazy. I've been kind of burned out. I've been into wax seal stamps, but I was like, I have to come back and I have to talk about this pen. The perfect pocket pen. This is something you can carry in your pocket. You can carry it in your bag. You don't need a case. What more can I say? All right, well, the next thing you're gonna see here is this is, I've already unboxed it. And in fact, let me show you the box that comes in real quick before I forget. Hi. Okay, I'm back. The box that comes in, uh, you know, it's just, it's like, I appreciate it because most of the thought goes more into the pen, the box. The box is simple. I'm cool with that. So you have a white outer sleeve. Slide that off. You've got a black box that has a magnetic closure. Open it up, boom, that's the box coming. And I'm so glad that I remembered to do this because I wanted to show you that this does come with this pen. And I imagine all of Jan's pens come with a certification brochure. 
and inside of it, you know, it has what it is. So we've got the cocoon fountain pen. Also comes in a roller ball. If you're into that, it's numbered red leather and what size nib it is. And it's got a stamp and yawn signature. Back, it has the web address you can go look at his stuff at. You can also get it at Apple Boom, which is where mine came from. Now, the next thing you're gonna see is the unboxing of this pen, the inking of this pen, and a writing sample. Tell me that wasn't mesmerizing. Go ahead, tell me it wasn't. You can't, can you? The pen is very, very cool. The pen, it's classic design. It's got, I just, I am in love with the concept. I think unique concepts, especially with fountain pens, because I mean, you could get a, there's so many fountain pens with the, you know, cigar shape, flat top shape. The only pens that are, you know, truly different or differentiate, bleh, or differentiate themselves from your standard pens is, I'm going to say, Lamy. I mean, I've got, you know, a Safari, which actually, this is a great size reference here. So here's, they're about the same size, actually. So there you go. So Lamy, Kaveco, and Jan Zander. Those designs do stand apart from every other design that you're seeing out today. And I really appreciate that. I really love unique designs like that. So, I mean, a leather case, that is also the pen. Does it need a clip? The seam is the roll stop. By the way, I forgot to mention the interior of the pen. So let me take this back off. The interior of the pen. It is a metal cylinder. You can see that there. And the leather is wrapped around that. So, I mean, it can't just be leather. It would be all bendy and stuff. So they've got to have like a, you know, kind of like a, a skeleton inside of the pen. Oh, here we go. Let's do this again. Let's see. Is it going to line up? Because I just randomly. Yes. Every damn time it's magnificent i mean i could do that all day long where i just i take this out put it back in take it out put it back in i think it's great what else could i possibly say about it um other than how how much i love it it's available at apple boom it's available through yon xander's website and at apple boom you can get this pen with all of its i mean perfection seriously like i looked for flaws on this pen, none. Stitching is perfect. Everything is great on it. And you could find this pen at Apple Boom about $450. Of course, if you add the gold nib, that's like an extra $200, I think, $200 and something dollars. So, you know, that, that kind of raises that cost. But $450 for something very unique, something well made something that can be put, you know, carried around with you and you don't have to worry about the pen getting messed up. The one thing that people might have concern over is whether or not this leather in particular, the red, if the ink will stain it. Honestly, if ink gets on it, I don't care. If it gets scratched or anything, I love it when pens develop character from use. I That's me, okay? Some people aren't, they don't like that, but 
Uh, if that's a concern of yours, of course, like I mentioned before, this pen is available in black and dark brown. So if getting ink on this pen, you know, is not a thing that, that you want to do, then, um, or, you know, if you're concerned about that red, I honestly, I don't, I think this would, I would do the test, but why would I do that just in case? I don't want to stand it immediately, but I honestly think this feels like it would resist ink. So anyway, that's really all I have to say about this pen. Be sure to check out applebaum.com. Uh, for Jan's designs and also check out Jan Zander's website which I will put in the description below and go look at his pens they're really beautiful I mean they are really beautiful but this cocoon pen that's to me this is the standout this is the coolest pen ever all right thank you so much for watching and that's how the ink flows